Today, the Kern High School District will unveil an Olympic-style aquatic complex center that was built with the funding from Measure K. 23 ABC's Daniela Garrido takes a look at the complex and what it means for the district. Daniela? For decades, the competitive swim teams of the Kern High School District have had to rent space for practice and competitions. Today, the new aquatic complex center will bring a new chapter to those teams. The first time and last time that the Kern High School District built an aquatics facility was in 1919 at Bakesville High School. And then that was demolished in 1938 when they expanded the gym. In 2016, Kern County voted to pass Measure K, which allocated for construction in the Kern High School District, specifically a new aquatic center. Once that was passed, we began immediate uh, efforts to design this facility, went through a design process for about a year, uh, year and a half. And then we started construction after the groundbreaking almost two years ago and to now opening this facility uh, just four years after the bond passed. The $14 million complex on the corner of Old River and Berkshire Road can host up to eight teams in the water and can fit about 700 spectators on the stands. For example, uh, Western United States Regional USA swimming events, this pool is specifically designed to accommodate a wide range of competitions with a minimum depth of seven feet in the Olympic pool behind me. For years, the swim team at Independence High School has been renting practice space at a local middle school. The facility is nice and well kept, but it's three and a half feet deep. So moving to this pool is going to be a big upgrade for my kids because now they can dive. Now they can um, actually swim a full 25. The other pool is 33. So a full 25 and the kids are super excited about moving here. With diving boards and Olympic sized lanes, the team hopes the new center will make them even more competitive. Um, right now we just swim, they dive in and they can swim maybe one or two strokes and they're at the other end of that dive well. Our pool here will be able, they'll be able to do a competitive, we'll be able to do time trials, we'll be able to do all kinds of things that we weren't able to do over there. We're just excited to have the facility that's nice, that belongs to our district, that is super close. The ribbon cutting ceremony will be held at 3.30 p.m. today. The first dual meet is scheduled for Friday, February 21st. For more information on the complex, visit our website, turn to 23com Live in studio, I'm Daniela Grito, 23 ABC News, connecting you.